The world is about to end, and this is the secret code you need to remember within 30 days to save it. Now, what you just saw was not the imprinting of Instant Noodle. It's a representation of the 1,094 new Japanese words that I learned over the course of the past 30 days on a free app called Anki. How is this possible? Well, take a look at this. This is the backside of a card. Let's say there's a kanji written on this card. When Anki shows you this, your job is to recall the other side of the card. In this case, it's the pronunciation and the definition. And so the question is, how often should you review this card? If you reviewed this card every single day, and you learned five new cards a day, then within two days, you'd already be sitting at 10 cards. Within only one year of doing this, you would have to study 1,825 cards per day, and it would only climb up from there. Don't waste your time like this. <laughs> Conversely, what if you were to recall this card every 10 days. Well, this presents two problems as well. The first problem is this. If I actually remember these five cards and tell me what they are 10 days later without ever looking at them ever again, it'd probably be pretty hard for you to do. And the second problem is this. Tomorrow, I'd have to review these five cards and remember to review them 10 days later separately from the other day. So you can imagine here, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. If you go all the way up to a year, you'd have day 365 and it'd be really hard to keep track of. Anki is your ace because this is the problem Anki aims to solve. What they discovered is that if you get reminded of something just before you're about to forget it, you actually remember that thing for a longer period of time, which means that Anki will show you this card first, and then one day later, it would show you this card again. Now, once you reviewed it one day later, you do not need to see it tomorrow because you already memorized it. So what Anki will do is increase the interval on this card. Well, once three days pass and Anki determines that you're about to forget it, so it'll show it to you again, and you correctly review the card, then the next interval won't have to be three days, and the interval will keep on increasing three months, six months, until it gets to an entire year or more. So with Anki, you do not have to waste time reviewing the same card too many times, but at the same time, it algorithmically calculates when you're about to forget a word so you'll never forget any words. Now, funnily enough, Anki actually boasts a 90% retention rate for all the data that you put in, but this is not true because I have a 95% retention despite this being a visual representation of my memory. To install Anki, visit this website on a computer. It is linked in the description. Hit the download button, then try to download version 2.1.49. When it's finished, open this file and follow the steps to install Anki. Now, the first time you boot up Anki, you'll be presented with what appears to be the interior walls of a solitary confinement chamber. In order to enable night mode, simply hit Control or Command P to bring up the preferences menu then check night mode. Okay, great, now that our eyes are not burning, we can actually get started. Right now in Anki, you have absolutely nothing. But before I tell you about how to create cards, let me show you what an average review on Anki looks like. So here I am in Anki. Now yours is gonna look very different to mine, but don't worry about it. The important thing here is this deck right here. This is my deck of Japanese cards. Don't worry about any of this information for now. We're just gonna hit study now. This is the back of the card. Our job here is to recall the pronunciation and the definition of this word. So the pronunciation is majiri and the definition is to be mixed or mingled. After I've recalled it, I can press space to reveal the answer and we can see all the information on the front of the card. So to go over each one, here's what we have. The back of the card remains up here. This is the word. There's a play button to hear the audio for the word. Majiri. There's the pronunciation written in kana. There's the pitch accent information, which does not cost any extra time and everyone should do it. Please watch this video up here to learn more. There's the definition, which could be in English or in Japanese. There's an example sentence here, which you can also add the English translation to. You can also add stuff like furigana on top of the words. There's an audio file for the example sentence. And finally, there is an image. All of this information is easily customizable just by pressing the E button to bring up the edit menu. Once I've verified that the information that I recalled is correct, I can simply hit space again to pass this card. And it's a bit hard to see because I've got a glitch here, but on top of the correct button down here, it says 20 days. So I will not see this card for the next 20 days. After doing that, the next word that I get is chozo, which means to preserve food. As you can see here, this time the definition is in Japanese because I can read this definition, but I have not included an example sentence because I didn't feel that it was necessary. But this card has a different interval than the previous card. If I press good on this one, it has a one day interval. Now we may not always use vocab cards with a single word. Sometimes we'll use sentence cards like this. So the back of the card says, listen, 
Mai san to sugosu no ka. And now we recall the meaning of the sentence. Hit space to reveal the answer, and we can see down here the next time this card will show up is 1.6 years, so this is quite an old card. This card was also created directly from an anime, and you can find out how I did that in this video up here. Okay, so now that you understand how Anki works, let's install your first deck. Usually, Japanese learners begin with what's called the Core 2K deck, which is a pre made deck consisting of the 2000 most commonly used Japanese words. If you just search Core 2K Japanese on Google, you can find many results, and you could just download any of these. You could also try the DJT Optimized 2K 6K deck. However, I'm gonna offer you something unique. It's my own Core 2K deck. What it is, is it's basically just a DJT deck, but I've modified the format to match my own cards. All of these will be available for download in the description, and you can choose whichever one you want. So once you have one of the core decks downloaded, simply double click on it to open it. This is gonna prompt a processing window in Anki, and then once it's done, it'll give you a summary of everything that it just added. Simply ignore this and hit close. Okay, great. So now in your Anki, you should see a core 2K 6K optimized Japanese vocabulary deck. If you just click on it and press study now, you can now begin your reviews. So the first word should be それ. And once you hear the word, just press spacebar. And it will reveal to you exactly what I showed you before. Now, hold on a second. Don't go doing your reviews yet. There are a few settings that we need to tweak. And this is important so that you can take full advantage of Anki. Now, the first thing we want to do is go on the deck and press this little like cog icon over here. Hit options. And now this is super important. For maximum reviews per day, change this to 9999. Now, why are we doing this? Well, remember, Anki's algorithm determines when you're about to forget a word and it'll show you right before you forget. So let's say if we have a cap of 200. Anki will not show you more than 200 cards on this day. However, if you have, say, 201 reviews, there will be one card that Anki determines you're about to forget and you should see it that you will not see. So if Anki says that you should review cards and you're not reviewing them, what's the point of using Anki in the first place? That's why we want to set the limit to 9999 so that you will never not review a card because of the limit. The second important setting here is the new cards per day. By default, it is set to 20. However, it can be whatever you want. Do not make a super rookie mistake of learning too many cards per day. Remember, every card that you learn will need to be reviewed in the future. You can very accumulate way too many cards and spend too much time on Anki, which will lead to burnout. And Ensure that you are actively fighting away burnout by checking out this video up here after you finish this video. Now, here are some super important things you need to keep in mind when doing your reviews. There are some mistakes that will break Anki, so make sure you do not do these following mistakes. So the first card we get is Sore, and you can see on the bottom here there are four options. Do not press hard or easy. If you do this, you will screw up this card permanently and you will either see it too frequently or too sparsely. If you can correctly recall the information on this card, hit good and it will show up again within in the amount of time that it shows above the card. If you could not recall the card correctly, hit again and it will reset the interval. Now, there are certain situations where you might want to do something a little different. Like, for example, you know the card, but for some reason in that moment you had a lapse and you couldn't recall it. So in those situations or in situations where you make a small mistake like a pitch accent error or a writing error, instead of hitting again or good, you can hit the minus button on your keyboard, which will bury the card. When a card is buried, it tells Anki that you don't want to see it today and show it tomorrow. If you see a mistake on the card, you can press E on the keyboard for edit, which will open up the card editor and you can just change whatever information you want and simply close it after you're done editing. Now, if you make a mistake at any point during your reviews, you can hit Control or Command Z. That will be for undo. Also, if you find that you are constantly forgetting a single card and you pick up that this is the card that I keep on forgetting, you can press Shift 8 and it'll add a tiny little star on the top of it. This will just give you a little indicator that, hey, this is the card that you keep on forgetting. Remember to do Anki every single day because that's how Anki stays effective. If you miss a day, then all those reviews that were supposed to be done on that day will be pushed to tomorrow. So make sure that the second you catch yourself missing days, you immediately solve the issue. My advice to people who are not good at doing the same thing every single day is to start with the tiniest intervals. So let's say, for example, every single day you learn two words. Committing yourself to spending maybe five or 10 minutes on Anki every single day is a much smaller ask than, say, spending a whole hour on Anki every single day. One more thing to note is that if you have a card that exceeds one year, so the time on top of the good button is over one year, you probably do not need to see this card anymore because it's already matured. In this scenario, you want to suspend the card by hitting shift 
one. Suspending the card will make sure that Anki never shows you this card ever again. The reason why we want to do this when the card hits a one-year interval is because if we are truly using our Japanese for immersion, we're going to see this card in our immersion anyway within the period of a whole year. If we do not see this word within an entire year, why are we spending time learning this card in the first place? Now, one other factor you have to consider when determining what number of cards you want to learn per day is that one new card does not necessarily mean one new word. So in this scenario, it says I'm learning 20 new cards, but I'm only really learning 10 new words. Why is this? Well, the reason is actually very simple. So if we hit the browse button up here, we can see a listing of all the words in this deck. And you can see that Sore over here actually has two entries. If we preview the first entry, we can see that it's a listen card. So we listen to the reading and we recall the writing and the definition. However, the other card, if we preview this one, it shows the kanji, which means we have to recall the pronunciation as well as the meaning. So if you use my format, each word will have two cards. This means that when you're determining your new cards per day, you should probably have it on an even number so that you don't learn half the card. With your Anki now set up, you can start doing the reviews. However, there are a few important plugins that I recommend you get. These are plugins that will let you automatically generate cards with the click of a single button. So check out this video next to find out how.